India, the USA, Great Britain, the Netherlands, Venezuela. People from these and many other countries of the world live with us side by side. They are working, starting families, growing up children and simply enjoying life in Kazakhstan. In our program Connecting Cultures, we share their stories that had occurred before they came to Kazakhstan and after they arrived here. From them, we will learn how the experience of staying in our country has changed their destinies. The Connecting Cultures program follows the life of foreigners in our country. Connecting Cultures is true stories told by representatives of many nations living and developing in Kazakhstan and for whom our country has become a home. Kazakhstan and Poland are governments that complement each other in economics and politics. An important aspect of this collaboration is the education sector. The hearing of our today's program, Malgorzata Voch, the chief specialist for international development in the Almaty Management University, has been engaged in a student exchange program between Kazakhstan and the whole world for a long time. Our heroine was born in the Polish city of Krakow, that is one of the largest scientific, cultural and economic centers of the country. In her childhood, Malgorzata demonstrated excellent study results that subsequently facilitated the choice of her profession. She always strove for new knowledge, and as a result, the fate has led her to Kazakhstan. After coming to Kazakhstan and starting working for the educational sector, I was really positively surprised to see how many different opportunities are offered to young people and young generations. They have a possibility to participate in the, in the governmental, governmentally paid scholarships. They have option to receive uh, rector scholarships. And I think that this kind of um, strategy, well managed and continued, have a great influence on the further development of the generation of young people in Kazakhstan. Mogujat, I know that you have a big, beautiful family. Can you please tell us about your family a little? We are six children. I'm the fifth one, so I just have only one younger brother. All together I have four brothers and one sister. So my father, he, he is managing for a long time already, for more than 20 years, I think, uh, constructive uh, companies. And uh, my mom, as, as she had so many children, she, she didn't work for a long time already. So she was, her occupation was just to take care of us, take care of our education. I was the only child. I am the only child in my family. Uh, is it hard to be raised, you know, in the big family with so many siblings? Uh, I wouldn't say it's hard. Yes, of course, at the beginning when I was younger, when I was attending primary school, uh, I didn't like the fact that you are so many because I had to share many things. But it also gives you and develop, allow you to develop some skills in the future. But now, each time when I'm coming back to my home, I'm really happy that I have so many brothers and sisters. Uh, some of them, they have already their own children. So our family now is even bigger and bigger. With their wives or uh, husbands and children, we are more than 15 right now. So wow. when we celebrate Christmas, it's really nice and uh, the atmosphere is, is really, really nice. Malgozata, you're living here in Almaty for three years already, and I know that everything feels ordinary for you, but what were your first impressions when you came here to Kazakhstan? First of all, I was not expecting this country to be that much developed. I remember the first evening when I came, uh, after coming to Kazakhstan, I went out with my friends, and I thought, whoa, whoa, whoa it's, <laughs> it's not really this what I have expected. It was completely on a European level. Uh, I think that this is maybe why a lot of foreigners call Almaty as a European city. Because you, have, you can easily find European standards, similar places that you find in, in most of the European uh, cities. I was also surprised by the fact how people are hospitable in Kazakhstan. I remember the first uh, time I was invited by a Kazakh family to their place. And uh, we had food, we were, we were hosted by the host family. So they gave us soup, some salads, we ate everything. And I thought that 
that's all, and it was not even the starters. Have you been to the other cities here in Kazakhstan except the Almaty? Yes, I have visited many small cities, but I have also visited Astana. I was there two years ago in April with my friend. Uh, I, was, I have to say that I was quite impressed by the city. It's true that it's a huge city, it has a big, in terms of territory, it's quite big. I was quite impressed by the new buildings, especially those that were built by uh, Norman Foster. I was also quite impressed by the development and the modernity of the city. And I would like to follow the development of the city and I really would like to visit it again in 10 or 20 years to see and to compare how it, it has changed. How can you uh, describe Kazakhstan in three words? In three words, I would definitely mention development, family and nature. Academic mobility is an important tool of the Almaty Management University, which provides students with the opportunity to get a study abroad experience by means of student exchange programs. As the chief specialist for academic mobility, our heroine is a key player in the development of this direction. You're working here at Alma University for one and a half years as an institute. Uh, what are your responsibilities here? What are your aims and the plans for the future? I'm uh, working with students directly, but not only. I also work with the academic staff and also the staff of the university. Uh, we try to look for some opportunities for students to send them abroad for exchange so they can go abroad for one semester or even for one academic year. Uh, I always focus on trying to find options for them to go on unpaid basis so they don't have to pay for the studies abroad they just pay for their studies here um, we do send them to different countries in asia in europe even in america uh, i think it's very variable and kind of life-changing experience so i'm very happy and very satisfied to have this possibility to help them and to participate in such a program and uh, the same for the teachers we try to send our teachers to gain the experience abroad, but we also try to invite teachers from abroad to come to our university and teach to local students. Talking about the exchange program here at Alma University, can you please give me some statistics? If we speak about students who come to our university, it's approximately between 50 and 70 of them from countries like France, Korea or Turkey. But not only, we have also students from Austria and uh, I hope to receive in the future students also from other European countries. And we have many of students from the neighboring countries, so from Uzbekistan, Kyrgyzstan, even from Tajikistan. Um, if we speak about students whom we send abroad, those numbers are rising each year because they have more and more possibilities. Um, in two weeks we are going to organize um, internal selection, so we will be selecting students uh, whom we will be sending abroad. We have approximately 60-70 places just for the spring semester. Uh, so I hope all of those places will be taken and all of the students will use the opportunity to go and to study abroad. So I'm also a coordinator of all of the exchange and international students. Uh, most of the exchange students that we host at Almaty Management University are provided with the first assistance after coming to Kazakhstan. So we pick them up from the airport, we give them a lift to their place of the, where they will stay, so that could be a hotel, that could be a rented apartment. Um, then we help them with all of the administrative issues, so we try to secure uh, their visa issues, so we go with them to the different offices, we apply for the visa uh, before the arrival, after the arrival we do registration for them and we help them also, which is I think very important, to look for accommodation. Uh, so we assist them with the translation, we assist them with the contracts, we check if the contract they are going to sign is correct. 
and then we help them, uh, we organize some meetings, we organize city tours, just for them to understand the city, to know the city better, and the whole aim is to assist them in their adaptation process, because most of them, they don't speak Russian, so I think it's very important, especially during the first three, four weeks, to provide them with such assistance. I think the most important and the most interesting experience for them is to compare the level of the knowledge. Um, some of the students, they used to have similar subjects at their home universities, and after coming here, they have the chance to um, repeat some of the knowledge, to gain additional knowledge, and to discuss with the local students or with our teachers uh, about the differences, how the knowledge is pre presented. Uh, I think it also um, allows them to discover a different type of learning. In your opinion, what are the positive sides of educational system here in Kazakhstan? I think very good program is Balashak uh, because it really gives a lot of opportunities to Kazakhstani people to develop, to gain additional knowledge and afterwards, after coming back to Kazakhstan, to implement it. They can use it in the lot, in, for, for the work, for the relation with people and I think it can really in the future benefit uh, people in Kazakhstan, they can really benefit out of the participation in such a program. And uh, what is very um, important also to understand is that in Kazakhstan, the population age of people who are under 20 or even under 25 year old, it's very high. It's much higher than many of European countries. So by investing in the future of the young generation, we invest in the future of, the, of Kazakhstan. Uh, and that's why I think that providing them with opportunity to study abroad or even to study with the foreign uh, lecturers here in Kazakhstan is very important because it allows those people to get the knowledge and to develop themselves. So they have more chances for the better start in the future, of the, for the better start of their careers. So we try to be to organize many events for our students. For the international students, we did prepare this year uh, introduction days during which they learn more about our, our university, about the way of teaching, about the courses that will be available for them in English, in Russian. We also give them opportunity to learn Russian language so they can uh, attend classes and do it for free. Uh, we plan very soon, next month most probably, to organize international days and for this event we would like to involve all of our international students and also Kazakh students uh, because we would like to give them a chance to compare the cultures, to compare traditions and also promote their universities from where they came to study at Almaty Management University. Our heroine devotes the most of her free time to mountain hiking. Almost every week Mogojata conquers a new peak and sets grander goals in sports as well as in her life. Mogojata, what are your future plans? Are you planning to stay here in Kazakhstan or move further? For the moment, I really would like to stay here. I don't really plan, I don't really have plans for the future, considering my the possibility of leaving, going somewhere abroad again. Uh, I like my work. I really enjoy working with my colleagues. I find my team very professional. There is also a lot of projects that I'm currently implementing and even more of them that I would like to implement. So this also requires a bit of time. That's why I don't really consider for the moment uh, the possibility to, to leave Kazakhstan. So yes, of course, in the future, I still would like to move. I still would like to travel and discover another country, another city, uh, other culture and new people. But this, I, for the moment, I consider that rather as a long-term perspective. So uh, next year, for sure, will be in Kazakhstan.
Kazakhstan and Poland have been fruitfully cooperating in various spheres of activity for many years. A student exchange program facilitates strengthening relationship between governments. Our herein's job is maintaining and further developing of friendship between many countries of the world, and it is an important part of her life.